You know, I kind of thought about doing this PlayStation order and, and then kind of mixing it around. But either way, hey guys, my name is Brian Brown. I got you here. And welcome back, folks, one and all, to Command and Conquer Red Alert Retaliation Allies. Map 1, Mission 2. In the last episode, well, yeah, we got pretty far. <laughs> so, anyway, what I mean is, like, because it's kind of a little bit easier to kind of deal with. But, mm, I don't know, maybe, like, recording, because, I don't know. I don't know. It's not really, re I don't know. It's not really easy. Never mind. Anyway, let's just, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, man, it's so freaking awesome to be able to do this. Anyway, I'm not going to do much in this episode, but... So much easier to just do this by defensive. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. I'll tell you what though. <laughs> oh brother. <laughs> oh, hell no. It's all right. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, though. <laughs> oh, that was the funniest thing ever. It is a little bit of a clue, but, you know, in itself, that you would never find unless you were doing it like. You know, doing it like this. It's 
This is so fun. Uh, I'll tell you what. I thought it would be fun to take out two Teslas with Teslas. <laughs> oh, man. Whoever thought it was, whoever thought it wasn't, must have been joking. Am <laughs> we took out their damn <laughs> another one of their huge uh, uh, deals? What you don't realize is what that I took out another one of their mammoth tanks with their defensive Tesla. The thing is, though, still... is it even with cannons? The with anything you've got, unless you can do like uh, massive damage, you know, towards them. Like, if you want to get rid of them really pretty easily, you just you really want to take the time and just let's go. Use one of these because these things will take them down in a shot or two shots because otherwise it would take a while for a cannon to do it by itself. <laughs> oh, this is pretty freaking cool. I say so myself. Oh, boy. I'd say this episode's going to go quickly. At least we don't have to worry about them using their defenses against us. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> now, if my trucks go through here, I won't have to worry about them dying or something. Okay. Trust me, we don't want to take out that. Of course.
Yeah, I, I would not recommend using flame towers versus flame towers. It just doesn't work out too well. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> By the way, the mammoth tank it was down here. Uh, well, somewhere in this uh, generator. It's supposed to be up here somewhere, but it wasn't this time. It's like they got like three of those things. <clears throat> Yep. <laughs> no more having the worry, period. Plus, you can use these things to protect the Tesla coils, which is just not a bad deal. That's what I would do. Use the between the flame towers and the other the other things. Yeah, you know, maybe like right behind. You had to put them behind the flame tower, though. In order to make a difference, because otherwise, if the flame tower starts shooting off, it'll destroy your uh, pillbox or turret, which is actually a cannon. But you know. Anyway, so I will see you all in the next episode. Until then. Later.